What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and we have big news coming out of Soul Eve with their Paragon successor project called Overprime. They recently released a video showcasing their work towards porting the game to the PS5. You can see them use a controller to make inputs on the homepage, select Feng Mao, and then play him in a match. Before we go any further into this though, we need to address the elephant in the room. You never actually see what the controller is plugged into, which has led many to believe that this was footage from just their work towards controller support and was played on a PC. I'm going to stick my neck out for Soul Eve a bit here and say that I personally believe that this was truly footage of the game being played on a PlayStation dev kit. The keyboard interface used at the beginning of the video is a PlayStation interface, not the Overprime one, and the sounds you can hear are of obvious Sony origin. Yes, they could have faked it, but I, I don't think so. As to why they wouldn't just show the damn dev kit, Sony has put a lot of restrictions in place around the PS5 developer kit, especially after someone tried to sell one on eBay. I'm pretty sure Soul Eve is under some sort of NDA that prevents them from showing the hardware or the startup UI. I searched my ass off to try and find videos of anyone using the dev kit and the only one I could come up with was pretty jank. I think if people were allowed to show themselves developing games with the kit, they would. That, that's just my opinion. I'm, I'm sure many will disagree, and I certainly understand community hesitation in believing that this was real console footage. Let me know in the comments what your opinions are. Moving on, even if this was just a demo of their work towards controller support, that's still pretty exciting news. They already had controller support for Overprime, but from what I hear, it was a little jank. The footage we see here seems to be very smooth. Fang is moving well, and his animations match his direction and momentum. They also display the use of callouts, which is an important function that is often missed in console ports. The UI is set up specifically for controller use, and it doesn't seem like the player is having any difficulties. I do wish they would have used a range zero for the demo so we could see aiming functionality a little better, but beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. If this is your first time hearing about Overprime, I'll give you a quick recap. Overprime is being developed by a Korean team called Soul Leave, who has the backing of publisher Netmarble. The team includes Rocket Mania, who single-handedly created Overthrow Paragon years ago. Overthrow was never meant to be a sustainable game, it was more of a passion project to let people play their favorite heroes again in some way. Soul Eve began production of a game called Prime X a few years ago that used the Paragon heroes, but in more of a hero battler style game. They made the decision to start working on a straight Paragon successor MOBA instead, and brought Rocket Mania on board. Since then, we've seen several playable peer-to-peer -peer versions of the game where they had a ton of content, but not much polish. As the game progressed, they added servers and tightened everything up by making improvements to the maps and hero animations. After they were acquired by Netmarble, they shut the servers down to focus on the game. The last I played over Prime, they had a huge roster, two normal 5v5 maps, one was legacy inspired and the other was more monolith style, and, a, and, and they had one 3v3 ARAM map. If you want more in-depth info, I'll have their socials linked in the video description below. So no matter how you slice it, this is pretty big news for Overprime fans. If it was just a console port played on PC, then it's a big step. If it's actually being played on a dev kit, as I suspect, then it's a huge step. We've heard a lot of news out of different Paragon Resurrection projects about console ports, but this is the first we've actually seen anyone doing it. I've had a rocky history with Overprime. I didn't enjoy the first few peer-to-peer -peer iterations of the game, and I still don't care much for the pacing that they're going for. Overprime has been and looks to be now way too fast and version 42e for me. However, the work that they've put in has been amazing. The maps are beautiful, the animations are crisp, they have the Fey, and if nothing else, they have top-notch controller support. Hopefully we'll get this one on Steam soon, and even more hopefully, we'll see it on PS5. I hope you enjoyed the video, hit the like button if you did, sub if you wanna, but for now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys, have a good one. Mangoose! Shout out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter, Jelly Knees, and Meow Mix for Men.